Summer is upon us, nay, grilling season is upon us. And rather than worry about what you're gonna make, sit back, relax, and let us show you your three new favorite things. And let us show you your favorite three new things. Your new three favorite things to make. Three goddamn things, whatever it is. Damn it, sometimes my head. You know what Max said to me the other day? I'm embarrassed to say this. So what happens when we start, I say what you've just heard. I said something the other day and Max said, my son, who I gave, I didn't give birth to him, but you know what I mean. My son said, We need to put a little more thought into Let's these. put a little more thought into what you say at the beginning of these things. Listen, it's been my hallmark for years not to know what I'm saying. Think that should be obvious. Doesn't matter. Three things, pull these off in a half an hour, no problem. Number one, you like grilled ribs? You know how long they take? You're looking at at least a couple of hours to make them happen. No, not today, because today we're using country style pork ribs, boneless. Start to finish, 15 minutes. How's that? Put that in your bong and smoke it. Then we're gonna make gumbas al ajillo, which is a Spanish dish, is essentially garlic shrimp. And we're gonna do it on the grill in a foil packet. Just make it in the morning, seal it up, then throw it on when you need it so good so delicious we'll serve a little spanish style garlic tomato bread with it and last but not least the smoke is coming off this jeez look i'm cleaning off the grill <coughs> get your grill hot ladies and gentlemen before you cook on it last but not least a bacon ranch potato salad all good all delicious all easy so as i said sit back relax we're starting with the ribs Boneless style country ribs. Sometimes they come like this, sometimes they're shorter. Doesn't matter, the beautiful thing is there's no bones, they cook nicely, they're delicious. But I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller because these are kind of big and meaty. So let me whip out my six inch boner knife. <laughs> My six inch boning knife, sorry. Coming soon to a shopstcg.com near you. So let's deal with fat. If you don't want the fat and take the fat off, but I do like a little fat with my ribs and I'm okay here. So all I'm gonna do is cut them in half and then cut them like this. And of course they'll cook even faster. Not to mention they're more rib-like at this size. That's a good knife, man. This and then this guy, it's a little bit of fat. How's that, are you okay with this fat? I don't really mind it. Fat is after all flavor, boys and girls. So leave it, I'll have this piece for me. Let's do this, we'll get a little bit of oil. We'll do this on both sides, but we'll also season them. Okay, all we're gonna give it is a little of our BFF, our salt, pepper, garlic combo. Perfect ratio, by the way, of each. We did the work so you don't have to. We'll give these guys a quick turn. We hit them with the oil again, and we're beautiful. Okay, good. These are gonna go on the grill, but we'll wait till the shrimp so we can do it all at the same time. And then the boys don't have to move because they don't wanna move. All right, shrimp next. We begin with a bowl and about a pound of 1620 shrimp, tail on, deveined, and peeled. 1620 means there's between 16 and 20 per pound. It's a nice size shrimp, especially for this. And we'll add the following. Nice little squeeze of extra virgin olive oil. We do want the richness. About six, seven cloves of garlic that we actually want the garlic, minced. Oh, it comes, salt and pepper, some red pepper flakes, just a little bit, not too crazy. A little smoked paprika. I say it all the time, if you're only buying one paprika, make it smoked paprika, it doesn't matter what brand it is, because it's better. We need about a half a lemon, no seeds, so squeeze through my fingers just in case. There's one more thing that we'll add in a second, but we'll give this a mix, lovely. And when this is mixed up, we grab ourselves some foil, like this, fold it in half, on go the shrimp, try and get all of that garlic, you want all of that garlic. Gum Gumbus or shrimp, El Hio is the garlic. You're a gumbus. It's in the name. Your mom's a gumbus. Wait, I just disrespected my wife. All right, so now I've got some butter. I've got a couple beautiful pats of butter that will sit on top. We'll make an envelope. I wanna keep it fairly flat so the shrimp are not in a mound. And then we fold up. The idea is to steam them inside of this package. Great. Gonna be fantastic. So the shrimp are ready, the boneless ribs are ready. We're ready to go to the grill. With our grill hot and sprayed, on go our boneless ribs. Beautiful, lovely. So these guys are probably somewhere in the vicinity of 15 minutes, but we're gonna turn them every couple of minutes. Fine, it's easy, you're here, it's summertime, you got a drink in your hand, you got music playing, you got friends over. And if none of that's going on, it's still you and the grill and those and everything's gonna be great. And on this side, on sort of medium-ish low heat, we'll go our shrimp like this. Cook, little man, cook. It's gonna be great. It's maybe 10 minutes, you know, it's all good. These are cooking. Look, they've only been on for a few seconds. Already we're starting to get a little bit of color. Love it, see down here, yeah. 
I mean, they're, they're, you know, they're rectangular pieces. So if we wanted, we could now just start to give them a turn onto their sides like this. Beautiful. So we'll continue with this. This will cook by itself. So in the meantime, let's go make a sauce for the ribs that will go on in the last few minutes of cooking and our potato salad. And into our way too ridiculously hot pan, we'll go some bacon. But I do like that sound. And it's sliced into, you know, sort of decent pieces. I like bacon in a potato salad, but I don't want the pieces to be too many. I don't want bacon bits, I want bacon pieces. So this, over the next few minutes, will crisp up. And when it's there, we'll take it out. You don't have to watch that. But now we'll make the rest of the potato salad. That's a big bowl. This is one pound of diced potatoes. I bought the package ones, they're already diced. I forgot that you have to cook them. So they go in a pan for, you know, 10 minutes or something with a little oil. And now they've been cooled. So this is what they look like. These will go in. By the way, still easier than buying whole potatoes and peeling them and cutting them and boiling. So one pound, and we'll add the following. We're gonna start with about a half a cup of sour cream, which looks like that-ish. And on a super cheat, I'm using about a half a pack of ranch seasoning. Look, everybody loves ranch, everybody. And everybody loves bacon and ranch together and sour cream, so how could this be a bad thing? We do need some salt and pepper. We do need some green onion, because it's me. We do need some parsley, like that. I'm gonna do a little smoked paprika because I have it right here and because I love it and want a little heat in this. Tiny squeeze of lemon juice, no seeds, no seeds, and we'll mix. And if we want more sour cream, we'll add it. By the way, could be non-fat Greek yogurt. For those that like mayo, could absolutely Absolutely be mayo. In fact, I'm gonna give it a few tablespoons of mayo. I just like the richness that it brings. This is fantastic. All right, let's have a quick taste and see where we're at. And of course, there's no bacon in it yet, which will only make it better. Mm. Let me tell you something. That little tang from the ranch and lemon together is really good. The mayo richened it up is really nice. I'm just waiting for the bacon to be done. Cool a bit and go in here. But now, the barbecue sauce. But before we do, there's my bacon. Crispy, still a little wibbly, like me, just the way I like it. We'll take it off, we'll let it cool, and it will go in. But now our sauce. And we begin with basic store-bought barbecue sauce. About a third of a cup. Any brand you like. We'll add a couple tablespoons of honey to this. One and two. Now, you could add anything spicy if you like spice. It could be sriracha, it could be hot sauce, could be Cholula. I'm gonna go out on an Asian limb and add about a fat tablespoon of chili crunch. Make that about a tablespoon and a half, because why not? Because it's gonna make it amazing. But you do you. I'm just showing you how fast three ingredients can make you a great little sauce. And now it tastes. I'm gonna add a little more. But now let's go check our, uh, our, our What's over here? Our ribs and our shrimp, come on. I temp the ribs, they're all between about 130 and 135, and this is the time to put on sauce. If you sauce them too early, they will burn because of the sugars in this, and that's not good for anything. So you wait till you're pretty close to the end, and then you give them a beautiful glazing like this, and then right away we'll turn these guys over, let that sauce burn in a little bit, and do this other side. The art of barbecue saucing. Just remember that, not too early. All right, those are looking great. Let's check our scrimps, shall we? So I'm gonna take them off the heat. Oh, look at what's happening here. Butter, butter's happening. Let me just get them in here. Now, give them a quick peek. I think they're gonna be ready. I think it's been about 10 minutes. Oh, shit, how am I gonna do this? Chance, you're young, why aren't you offering to do this? You got the chef hands. I got old hands is what I got, man. I need these to last me the rest of my life, which is a lot shorter than yours, buddy. Oh, son of a biatch. Look at that. Holy S. Okay, those are perfect. I'm gonna give it one thing, a little vermouth. You could use a little white wine. Beautiful. I'm gonna seal them back up and let that just sit in there a bit. But now stay there because we're gonna do something cool with some bread. Okay, one last thing, just a little parsley. Look at how beautiful those are. Last thing we do is we take a little baguette, I've sliced in half, oiled with some good extra virgin olive oil, and on we go. We're gonna let this get a little charred. It's only gonna take a couple minutes. Then we're gonna pull it off and do something great with garlic and tomato. And then we're there, guys. Everything's coming together. So if you guys want, go to the other side and we'll make it happen. Here's our bread. Perfect. Here's a garlic. Here's a garlic. Here's a garlic clove and a tomato. Now watch. I'm gonna take the clove and cut it in half. And while the bread is warm, I'll just rub the garlic across. Oh, and the, the delicious flavor this will impart and smell, which I'm already getting. But wait, because it gets way better. All the way, all the way, all the way around. 
need the other side, grab the other half. Obviously as big of a clove as you can get. And I did not have very big cloves left. I thought I had more. Okay, good. Now you take your tomato and you do that. And then squeeze a little bit and rub. Squeeze and rub. Squeeze and rub. And now you get tomato on top of this garlic. This is about as simple as it gets. I mean, there's a version that you grate the garlic and then put it on top. And for me, I think less is more in this case. I like seeing a little bit of pink, a little bit of some of the pieces, but that's great for me. And then just a little salt, pepper, garlic on top. Ah, oh, shit, look at that. Here's what we do. We'll take our bread, cut it, put it here, turn some over. Imagine how good those are gonna be. Then our shrimp, because what you want is you want to be able to dip the bread in with this delicious shrimp juice. This butter, the vermouth is all fantastic. Here's our potato salad with the bacon. Fantastic. And a couple extra pieces for the top. That's good. I'll put that there and right in between will go our ribs. Wow, look at these guys. Holy shit. Holy shit balls. And you're done, ladies and gentlemen. What more could you ask for? We did this in an hour and that's talking and moving cameras. I said it in the beginning, you pull this off in 30 minutes, no sweat. Look, I think we've done a nice job here. I've been dying for this. A Little bit of this tomato garlic bread, but I'm gonna do this first. Dip in that sauce, take the shrimp tail off, put that on there. That's gonna be a big one biter, but damn. You have no idea. Gumbus a la heel, gumbus a la, oh holy fuck. Mm, the garlic, the lamp, the, oh, everything. And on this, and no mess inside. It's the time of year, cook everything out here. Wait, one bite of potato salad with the bacon now, look it. The bacon is on here. Oh, come on now. Mm. Ranch, powder, keep it in the pantry. Let me cut one bite of this, one bite. I have to, I have to. Oh, that's Listen, you cook pork to its government allowed final temperature of 145 degrees. It still has a little pink. It's still perfectly. There's a little bit of fat, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of heat from the chili crunch. Mmm. Mmm. All day long. And by the way, zero to this in 15 minutes. You can't do ribs like that. Here's what we've learned today it's grilling season. Get off the stick, Junior. Make this stuff and hit the subscribe and like buttons. You know you want to, and it's totally free. What's not free, but still a great place to go is shopsdcg.com. You can get our BFF, our BFA, our knives, our cast iron pans, and stuff like that. And anything else new we have, that's where it will live. Enjoy the hopefully better weather. Enjoy the grill. Get it clean. If you haven't cleaned yours in a while, now's the time to do it. Get it hot before you cook on it, oil it up, and away you go. Love this time of year.